Yep. <laughs> I knew it. I knew it. Oh, he's decent too. Not as big as yours, but he's decent. I felt just the slightest, ooh, slightest tick. That's the wacky Senko. That's the deal. It's like, it's always slack line. So you just got to watch your line or just. Not long ago, I decided to ditch the corporate grind to pursue my passions for traveling and the great outdoors. So I sold everything, moved into a trailer full time, and now I'm fishing my way across the entire country. There you go. Fish out. Look at that. You're watching Field Trips with Robert Field. That was insane. I know you love Crocs. You don't mind looking stupid. That's nice. It's <laughs> a practical shoe. Yeah, yeah, they are practical. Practically the ugliest shoe I've ever seen. Not ugly. <laughs> Okay, okay. Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Field Trips. We just got here to Able Mountain Campground in Randolph, Vermont. This place is absolutely gorgeous. We've got a branch, I think the third branch of the White River running right behind the trailer. Just an absolutely gorgeous backyard view this week. This place is sweet, it's got a pool. It has clean bathrooms. Tons of space. They've got a bunch of sites that are right along the waterfront. They got a bunch of sites that are open, bunch of sites that are shady. This place is really perfectly situated in the state of Vermont. It's not too far from anything. We're gonna be doing a little hiking about 30 minutes away. For now, we need to get unhitched, unloaded, kind of set up, and uh, get ready to do some fishing tomorrow. Guys, we got a truck down the hill. I see you got wheels, so it doesn't matter, but I don't. No, yeah, that's cool. We'll so load cool. in here, and then where do we park? Oh, uh, we'll just park right up there and just walk And walk back? back. Okay. Right Sweet. I caught like three or four pounds smallmouth and had like logs come out of the shadows and just gashes on these things, chasing them right out of the water. Yeah. There's no musky here. Right? No, there's some in the lake. All right. So, uh. That's what was making that noise. The pike? Yeah. So I just went to go tie on my for first lure. I haven't even started fishing yet. We got Jamie, the new girl. She had to drive into town to go to the bathroom. And uh, yeah, Matt Holland on the uh, homemade popper we'll be showing you guys later. First fish of the day, decent little pike. Right off the bank. Yeah, he gave himself up a little early. Yeah, just we heard an explosion. right where he was. <laughs> he was telling me what we were gonna be throwing. We heard an explosion around the bank. He came over here, tossed that beautiful homemade popper. This one's a little shot all summer I've been using this. So this is made out of what, cork? Yeah, cork, and uh, my girlfriend paints them, and then I've been tying some uh, some old bucktail and stuff from my grandfather's deer. It's beautiful, dude. Yeah, Just that's with awesome. An angry face. He's missing an eyeball. Because <laughs> <laughs> of this darn pike. So we are here at Colchester Pond in Colchester, Vermont, near Burlington, near Lake Champlain. My new friend Matt Holland met him through Jonathan Levitt, who you guys saw in the Snakehead series. If you watched that. We're here with Miss Jamie Costa, the newest addition apprentice here at Field Trips. This is not her first time in a kayak, but pretty close. It's her first time fishing out of a kayak. Definitely her first time filming out of a kayak. So hopefully this camera is not in the water at the bottom of the lake by the day's end. But we're gonna go out here, try to get some smallies, some pike, northern pike. I said we're gonna try. Matt already caught a northern pike about two minutes ago, about a minute after we rolled up, but we are ready to go. Weather looks beautiful, no wind, and I hear fish busting. So we're gonna get after it. I've paddled. Yeah, yeah. No, you'll be fine. This thing's super stable. Like, I stand up in it all day. Oh, okay. Yeah, you probably don't need to stand up yeah, 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 yet. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. So this is a paddle. Okay, thank you. This is a kayak paddle, an accent paddle. For fishing. You want to give you a show? No, I'm good. Oh, wow. That's cool. I got this. <laughs> right, right. So just a little push. I'll give you a shove today, but I'm not gonna shove you off every time. So that's what I'm saying. You either need a plane to get your feet wet, which okay. may mean wear waders. It will. I can get my feet so. wet. I just wasn't anticipating right, but some it. Some days it's cold, and so we're gonna have to dress appropriately because like you're gonna get wet. Tight. Just make sure How deep are we gonna be fishing primarily? Uh, I mean, it, it varies from anywhere from 40. Yes, oh, that was a big That hit. was right on the bank. Right on the bank, but I love these things. Sink like them on the bottom. Blade bait? No, yeah, anything that's just like. Anything. I got rattle traps. And then your normal, like, kind of jerk baits. Okay. Steel leader, if you want. Like, 
I usually catch pike to here and then small eyes. I usually okay. don't. I usually fish with braid. Yeah. I mean, you usually don't have to worry about it, but sometimes those pike will come up on that thing and like literally yeah, take yeah, that like lure. Yeah, it. Yeah. It's like, oh, I brought top water because I'm hoping on that back cliff for whatever reason, they're just going to be, yeah, just, yeah. they don't care. Oh, I can't turn around. Oh, wow. He's so big. That's a smallmouth bass. That's a big That's piece. a smallmouth? Yeah. Yeah, I've been using it all year, and it's it's held up pretty pretty good for only having one eye. One-eyed Willie, right? <laughs> yeah. I got it. Adds a little character to it. Keep your eyes out for moose, too. <laughs> you ever seen a moose? I mean, I've seen them not here, but... There's two chipmunks, like, chasing each other. Yeah, that's, like, the one animal I'd really love to see and get some footage of. No, no. Oh. a moose. <laughs> I got chipmunk footy. <laughs> I got chipmunk footy. I got that covered. He bit me off. Jeez, dude, I let him take it under. Oh, got the blood pumping. <laughs> well, I also got my first blow up on the, uh, the wine cork lure. Turned out to be a pike and uh, bit right through my line. Oh, heard that. Matt just missed one. I just missed one. They're going for these topwaters right now. He wasn't ready. Yep. <laughs> I knew it. I knew it. Oh, he's decent too. Not as big as yours, but he's decent. Did you see that I turned the camera on? I sat there for like a, I felt just the slightest, ooh, slightest tick. That's the wacky Senko. That's the deal. It's like, it's always slack line. So you just got to watch your line or just wait for like the most subtle. Man, there's, dude, there's such strong fish. Like he's not that big and he is digging all over the place. This is the lightest rod I got in the boat for that little weightless Senko. I told you, it's my go-to. Like if I don't know an area, you put that thing in front of a fish's face, he's going to eat it. And that's all I ever do with the Senko. I just drop it down and just let it sink. Once it hits the bottom, I just either, ooh, got him. Beautiful fish. So there is my first Vermont Smalley. And uh, now I have not caught a ton of smallmouth in my life. And that is one of the better ones I've ever caught right there. And we've been throwing the top water, got one blow up. Matt caught a fish on it. We just saw this beautiful looking lay down and I followed it up with the wacky Senko, my go-to. Really chunky fish. We'll let this girl go to find another day. We just. Go. Fish on. Woo! <laughs> yeah, Smalley. I just lost one two seconds ago. Beautiful fish, small mouth. I, I keep going back to the wacky Senko. It's just my comfort zone and uh, I missed one. I actually, I fought it for a second and she came off and uh, threw it right back up in the same spot. And so either this was a, the same one, I kind of doubt it since the first one felt hook. There must've been a couple of them in there. It's the same exact little spot. Nice. Beautiful. Second little small month of the day, both on the wacky Senko, black and blue. Can't get him to hit the, the popper yet, except for that one pike, but uh, I'm, I'm pretty determined. We're gonna make that happen. But for now, they are cooperating on the Senko. Too much fun. Nice. Oh my God, intern's first day on the kayak. They grow up so fast. Stuffing her face with a leftover breakfast sandwich. <laughs> So just to confirm that I'm the worst boss ever, first off I'm filming Jamie while she's stuffing her face, but also it is Jamie's 23rd birthday today, and she is out here working, filming for me. Thanks for being such a good sport. Happy birthday. Everyone comment below, wish Jamie happy birthday for us. She's out here grinding, getting stuff done. Film your ugly Crocs. Uh oh, oh they're ugly. They may be practical, That that is, uh, I won't argue. Matt, do you think Crocs are ugly? <laughs> Choose your next words carefully. They're a practical shoe, right? Yeah, Crocs and socks. If you guys saw my Broad River episode with uh, Brooks Betty, he was making fun of himself wearing Crocs and socks. Now we got Miss Jamie Casa rocking the same look. Don't worry, Brooks, you're not alone. They're practical. They are practical. They're amazing. <laughs> 
So there was some kind of hatch recently. They look like flying ants, but they're just littering the surface of the water. And there's a lot of little bluegill and sunfish coming up and, and slurping them down. And uh, some kind of schooled up bait fish just ran over a huge school of bait. The Jean. Yeah, they push bait back in here all the time. Yeah, he chomped it. Really chunky fish. Absolutely gorgeous. You can tell they're really healthy fish. Really healthy fishery. Got a nice belly on them. He says he's only ever seen one. <gasps> 34 inch pike. Just I was just steady reeling it in and I looked down and he followed it all the way to the boat. Wow, that's good to know. Small pike? Yeah. Nice man. The Jean feels like a smallie. Back out of here so I don't blow this spot up. Not a big fish, but a solid little guy. If Wacky Senko is not part of your arsenal, it needs to be. I don't care what part of the country you're in. Oh, he is, all these fish are decent. I don't care what part of the country you're in, small mouth, large mouth, they're gonna hit it, here he comes. Nice. Too much fun right now and all of these smallies are decent like I, we haven't really caught a small small one yet beautiful look at the patterns on these guys beautiful little smallie number three in the morning mr pike uh the action is hot and heavy so far little guy not the caliber of fish we're looking for. Another small guy, seems like the bite on the bigger ones kind of slowed down a little bit now and these, uh, these little babies are coming out to play, but still super fun. Yep, I stood up, saw this, uh, this lay down right on the edge of this grass line. And uh, earlier we had seen a monster smallie in there and that's what I was hoping for. This is not him. This is not the monster, but first cast in there with the wacky Senko and sure enough, there is a fish. Decent little smallmouth. and look at this. See this gash here? That to me looks like a bird talon of some kind. Maybe an osprey, maybe an eagle, maybe a falcon. I mean, you never know, but looks to me like a talon gashed him. Like maybe this guy narrowly avoided be a lunch for a, an avian friend. But uh, we'll let this guy go here. Don't tell your friends. Oh, God, come on, dog. Being all gentle and sweet. So yeah, Wacky Sanko, I'm telling you guys, this is not, not only should it be in your arsenal, this should be a go-to, a staple. If I'm fishing for bass in less than 10 feet of water and sometimes deeper, I've got a wacky Senko tied on every single time, 100% of the time. It just works. It works when nothing else is working. It works when everything's working. It just flat out works. All right, well, bite slowed down when the sun came out. They're not cooperating anymore. We're gonna go grab some grub and then go hang out with Matt and his girlfriend and see how they make these topwater lures and how she paints them because they've got some pretty sweet designs on them. Jamie's first day, she didn't fall in or break anything or drop the camera in the water. Also didn't catch fish. Also didn't catch fish. That's okay. Three out of four ain't bad. Nice to meet you, Rob. Nice. Great to meet you. Jamie. These are the little ones. Hello. Lila and then April. Hi. Lila, April. I like your dress. Nice to meet you. <laughs> it's her princess dress. So right. I love it. Of course. It's my princess peach dress. Oh yeah. How does it look? Beautiful. It's beautiful. Thank you. I'm Let's gonna see keep it, it in. Lila <laughs> gave Jamie a flower for her hair. That is beautiful. Mm. Right? Very sweet. Oh my god. I'm sure I love it. Yeah. That looks money. That's why I'm doing it. Who doesn't? I don't know. Oh, I was starving. I, there's two pieces <laughs> left. I ate Three quarters of it on the ride here. Oh yeah, like, like six a.m. Yeah. Know, you yeah. Didn't bring and all we had was yeah. like, a well, I had snacks. Yeah. I meant to say something to you guys. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Go. Yep. 
Scene. 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 <laughs> Sorry. I figured when you look up and see me like pointing it at you, but I never know if you're like you would know settings, that it's you know? on. <laughs> that's the whole point. Is I don't know because I don't know if you're messing with settings. I don't want to start talking. You're like, where, where are you? Now nah, we good. Okay. Scene. Go. <laughs> nice. Nice. So these are the custom poppers that Matt and Anna have been making. So Anna's kind of the the lead painter, if you will. Matt does some paint jobs too. <laughs> no, no, jokes aside, yours are way better than mine are. Um, Anna has a, a special talent. These things are crazy, really intricate patterns. The level of detail in these things on such a small canvas is just out of this world. But I threw them a little bit this morning. I threw the one that yeah. was not a custom painted yeah, one. Yeah, that was a prototype. Right, right. Yeah. Um, but Matt here was throwing it pretty religiously today and caught almost every fish on it. So a couple pike several bass at least uh, i got the one nice blow up on a pike but the the coolest thing about these is the paint jobs are out of this world i mean i was telling them that i'm gonna buy one of these but really it's gonna be art like i want to hang it up in my trailer i don't even want to fish with it because i don't want to mess it up but the nicest part about this was as soon as i popped it once i could tell these things are gonna catch fish and they've actually got a pretty phenomenal action like i said i mean better than like any of the little poppers that i buy in the store right so these are art dude yeah, they're beautiful. I want, to, I want to like frame three of them or something. Right? Some kind of little now you're making sense. Three of collection. Yeah. <laughs> There's the artist right there. Are you coming in? <laughs> Join us. Hey, Join us. Right? Join us. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. So they don't have anything super formal yet, but they're uh, they're starting to sell them. And so if by the time this video comes out, check out for a link in the description. Maybe check out their Instagram, Facebook, something like that. We've been brainstorming here. These things are awesome. Check them out and beyond how beautiful they are and how they could very appropriately be hung up in your home as art, they also catch fish as Matt demonstrated all day today. So we're gonna be going out fishing here in a couple days fish. in a different spot. And I'm gonna get redemption on this topwater bite and try to stick a fish on one of these custom lures. These are sweet. I like where it says that. I really do like these. No, they're, they're a lot of fun.